Hey, it's Kathleen here um, for Kitsy's Reviews and More, and I've tried to make this video a few times, and I'm really sick, and I apologize for that. I really want to give this the review it deserves, uh, which is why I'm not typing it. I'm, I'd am i rather do a video and talk about it. Um, it it's just easier for me. Um, I thought I was getting better. I thought I was pulling out of it yesterday and I took a nosedive um, last night um, and I need to call my oncologist. Um, so uh, yeah, that's where we're at there. But um, Fire Organic was kind enough um, to send this out to me and they were also very kind enough to extend my re review time um, understanding how sick I was. Literally everybody around me is sick, um, but this is different for me. Um, that being said, let's get back to this whitening, this activated cheek <laughs> charcoal teeth whitening powder. I honestly can speak. I just, I'm fumbling because I need more coffee and I'm not feeling well. Uh, what I really like about this is this is a teeth whitening powder. It's not a toothpaste. Um, I've gotten powders that are advertised as um, toothpaste and I actually have a tube of activated charcoal toothpaste. Um, I've used it um, that way um, and you still have to brush your teeth after with regular um, toothpaste. What I like about, what I really love about Fiber Organic is the main part of their charcoal is coconut husk. Um, this powder, as it says, it's ultra fine. Believe me, it is ultra fine. It's very fine. You have to be very careful with this stuff because uh, one whoopsie and you will have charcoal all over the place. So please be very careful. Um, if you need to, and I've had to do this from time to time, um, scoop it into a smaller container, maybe keep this one um, in, in the, the uh, cabinet. Um, because it, I'd rather dump a small, have a whoopsie with a small amount of uh, activated charcoal than dumping one of these, because I've done that already. And believe me, it was not fun, it was not pretty, and there's still... Uh, activated charcoal floating around. Um, we got most of it. Um, so as you can see, it's ultra fine. It, fresh, it freshens your breath. I'm one who I do brush my tongue. I always have um, because uh, there's a ton of germs on your tongue. So um, it's just something I've always done. There is no fluoride in this. It is not a toothpaste. It is a, it's made for whitening your teeth. They've also added baking soda for added whitening. And baking soda itself is also a teeth whitener on its own. It's just one of those little benefits that um, baking soda that does is also um, very universal in how it can be used. Um, this particular charcoal, even though it's advertised, well, let me give you the ingredients first. Uh, the charcoal powder made from coconut husk. It, it was, um, it has peppermint in it. Sodium bicarbonate, which is, uh, the, uh, baking soda. And they have, uh, stevia extract in, in there. I was a little surprised to see stevia extract in there. Um, but I'm not really adverse to it. Um, I need to get away from sugar because sugars feed cancer. Um, and then I have to try and pick and choose which sweetener I can use. And I tend to lean towards more natural things, honey and maple syrup and things like that. But there are some things you can't, some things you just can't put honey and maple syrup in. Um, and this would be one of them. Um, so I'm not adverse to having stevia extract because I know that it is natural. Um, and that's actually, uh, one of the things I really liked about this powder, um, is it had a flavor. 
uh, any other, uh, any of the other, uh, or, uh, excuse me, again, I'm sick. Any of the other activated charcoal that I've used, either for brushing my teeth as a toothpaste or just as a teeth whitener, none of them have been flavored. And they've all been made out of, uh, like this one, the, the base is coconut husk. But they've been made from different trees and such. It all depends on where it comes from. And I'm, I'm most comfortable when my activated charcoal is, used, uh, the base is coconut husk. Because coconut is a, a staple um, in this household um, from uh, lotion products to um, ingesting it. it. It's something that's really good for you. So I'm, I'm really happy that they use uh, coconut husk. It is an ultra fine powder. Um, so you have to be really careful. It is really easy to just bump this and get charcoal everywhere. Um, what I've done is I have a little tiny container um, and I have this little tiny tiny scoop and I just carefully scoop a little bit of that into the container um, which also has a little screw on top and I put the big container in in my medicine cabinet because it's so much easier to clean up that little container if, if I have a whoopsie which I often do believe it or not I know it's hard to believe um, if you've watched any of my videos you've seen my whoopsies or some of them anyway um, and activated charcoal is not one you want to have a big whoopsie with this size. <laughs> uh, I've done it, um, and we're still finding activated charcoal. Um, fortunately, it was one I wasn't fond of, um, but it's still very messy. What I really loved about this one is the fact that it's flavored, and I'm not sure if I already said that or not. Again, I'm sick. Um, it, it, and this, this by far so far is my favorite, um, activated charcoal. I do have some activated charcoal toothpaste in a tube, um, which I'm not really crazy about. I mean, in a pinch, if I'm out of toothpaste, I'll use it, but it's not my favorite toothpaste. And I'm very happy that this is being sold as a teeth whitening powder because if you use activated charcoal um, as, a, as a toothpaste, many people do, um, you still need to use regular toothpaste. Um, activated charcoal is very, very messy. Um, it's a fine powder. And I also use an organic wooden toothbrush. Um, I like it because once I'm done with this, um, this is compostable. So, uh, I, it's really important for me I, to have everything natural. Um, my, my system is compromised and I have to be aware of what I'm using. Plus I also like the idea that this is compostable. Um, this is all natural. So if I have, if I did dump it, and it goes into the trash. I'm not worried that I'm going to endanger the environment. Um, that being said, let me open it up and show you. I have bad hands, so it it it, it looks harder than it is to open it. It's just my hands. Um, they're pretty much catcher's mitts this morning. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a very, very fine powder. It, it's really like the consistency of talcum powder. Very similar. And if you've had a talcum powder, um, incident, which I'm sure many, uh, parents out there probably have, or their children have gotten a hold of it, um, this is pretty much the same thing, except it's black. <laughs> and, uh, again, I, I scoop mine into a smaller container and put the bigger one into, uh, in, in the cabinet and I keep it there 
because I'd rather have a small whoopsie than a big whoopsie. Now the thing with this is um, you definitely want to do it before um, before you put anything on, um, anything that you're going to be wearing outside. Um, if, if you pick your outfit for the day, um, do not put it on uh, yet after until you use this. Uh, also, if you're on your way to the shower, you might want to use this before you get in the shower. Um, because it will get all over your face. Um, but that's okay. It, it, it will come out. Just be very, be aware of that and just be careful. Um, so this one, um, I, I use, used, uh, regular toothpaste. And then after, um, all you need to do is take your handy toothbrush, get it wet and just slightly dip it in. Just really tap it. And that, because it's so fine, it will pick up quite a bit. And you might want to just kind of like, like tap your toothbrush, like just a little bit. Once it has it on there, and I'm not going to show it to you because I'm in my bed and I don't have water handy. But you're going to want to maybe just tap it slightly to get the loose powder off so you don't have a hot mess on your hands. Um... And then um, just start to brush away. And I would suggest um, having your head over the sick because it is messy. And do not have anything um, that you don't want stained close by. Uh, because if you're like me, I'm bad at brushing my teeth. No, I'm not bad at brushing my teeth. I brush them every day. Um, but I have a tendency to get toothpaste on the mirror. Yes, I am one of those people that gets toothpaste on the mirror, but I clean it up. Um, but I don't want to get this on my mirror. So I carefully uh, put my head over the sink while I'm using this. Um, rinse my mouth out really good. And this, I actually just used it um, because I, I hadn't brushed my teeth. I finished coffee and all that and I needed to brush my teeth they were pretty um they needed to be brushed I'll leave it at that and uh the thing with this one is a it, it's helping me whiten my teeth and uh it, it will get on your face and you will have to get something to wash it off so again use something that you don't want stained um, you can use paper towels, maybe a wet nap, what, what have you, whatever's, um, whatever you choose to use, but, um, have something handy, um, because you, it will get on you. And you also may have to, uh, brush your teeth after because sometimes it is hard. It, it, it really gets in there, um, and it gets in all the crevices and everything and, uh, it's not always so easy to just swish your mouth and get it, get it out. Um, so I typically, I'll, I'll do the quick smile in the mirror and, uh, check it out. And, uh, usually just do a quick brush and, and get the remnants out. Um, the thing I do like about activated charcoal is basically it takes toxins and the toxins bond to it. it Activated charcoal is the things they, it's, it's the same thing they use in the hospitals. Um, if, uh, if a child or, or, or anyone, um, accidentally ingests something that's poisonous, um, it, this is the, the, the stuff that they give you and the, the toxins will bond to this and, um, remove them. And your teeth are in fact porous, but there's one thing you need to know. If you have decay, it's not going to, it will not whiten your decay and it will not get rid of your decay. You need to go to the dentist for that. Um, this is for um, natural teeth. If you have any composite on your teeth, it's not going to have any impact on the composite because the composite is plastic or some type, whatever their, whatever your composite happens to be made up of, 
um, activated charcoal or any whitening product for that matter will not help if you want your if you want your um, teeth that have composite on them whiter you'll have to have your dentist actually uh, fix the composite and put on a uh, whiter composite um, that's the only way you'll get that um, uh, white um, but your natural teeth this will work on um, I don't use this every single day um, you have to be a little careful um, it does have a uh, it while it doesn't feel like it does it does have some abrasive abrasives in it um, and where it doesn't have fluoride um, again I'm happy that this is uh, advertise as teeth whitening and not as a toothpaste because most of the powders and the tube I got are are labeled toothpaste on and none of them have fluoride and your teeth really do need fluoride um, so as a teeth whitener I'm glad um, that it's fluoride free um, but I do still have to brush my teeth and honestly this is oh so much better than putting that nasty gel in your mouth. It's um, cost effective. Uh, it works better. It's natural. Um, and it, if you happen to have, um, again, if you happen to have even the slightest decay, the slightest little cavity, um, that whitening stuff is going to hit it, the, the commercial stuff that they sell in the tubes, and you will feel pain. Believe me. You will feel pain. Been there, done that. Um, with this, you will not. Um, but again, be aware that it will not remove your decay. You need to go to the dentist for that. Um, so I'm quite happy with this. Um, I've used it. Uh, I've been using it since I got it uh, off and on. Um, it, it's been difficult because I've literally been so sick um, it, that I haven't used it as much as I wanted to before I did my review, um, basically because I was married to the bed. Um, but this by far um, is my favorite. Um, I will, uh, once this is gone, I will be buying more um, as a teeth whitener. A whitener. Um, so I'm quite happy and look into it. These are really, really kind, nice people. Um, and they have a really good company. Um, their customer service is great. Um, the people that I've spoken with and dealt with have been wonderful. And, um, if you have any questions, there'll be, again, there'll be a link for more information and you can get in contact with them on their webpage if you have any questions. But first look at the frequently asked questions. And then definitely just read, read around and see if there's anything that you, you don't like. Um, you, you just basically brush your teeth for a couple of minutes. Um, I probably brush my teeth. I don't time it. I just brush it. Um, I brush my teeth for a long time anyway. I get in behind. I get in on... Um, on the inside I, I really go to town on my teeth so um I get in there and I know I'm doing doing more than two minutes with this um and then I finish it up with regular toothpaste to get uh, the rest of the black out but I'm quite pleased with this actually I'm more than quite pleased this is my favorite um teeth whitener and I'm really, really, again, I know I keep saying this, I'm really happy that they're advertising this as a, t or advertising, they're, they're, um, branding this as a teeth whitener and not a toothpaste, um, because you do need fluoride for your teeth or they're gonna fall out of your head. And, uh, so you do have to use both in conjunction. Even if this, even if, even the ones that are marked toothpaste, they still don't have fluoride and you still have to use regular toothpaste. So, um, this makes me very happy. I'm very, very happy with all the ingredients listed here. 
And most of all, well, plus it's flavored. I've never had flavored activated charcoal. And, and it's made out of coconut husk. And there's so much coconut things in this household. Um, that just made me very, very happy. Um, so I would give this a thumbs up. Um, be very, very careful with it. And in my experience, again, I do put this in a, uh, I scoop out a small amount into a, a smaller container, but the container's large enough for the head of my toothbrush. You have to make sure of that first. You might want to get a shallow one. Uh, if, if you've been to one of those parties with the, the lids that burp, I don't know if I can say their name. Um, if you got one of their small little toys that they give out, you might have one of their little containers, um, that are shallower and, but you can find those online. Anyway, uh, so I put a little bit in there and this goes into the cabinet so there's not a whoopsie. And, uh, yeah, this is really, really quality, um, teeth whitening, um, it's a teeth whitening product made by Fiber Organic. Again, the, the links will be below. And I, I apologize that I'm sick. Um, I really do love this product. Um, it, it, it just, I, it blows me away that they actually even thought of to put flavor in there because nobody else does. Nobody, um, had the mindset to put that in, but they did. And they kept everything organic. So, um, and they're a really good company. Uh, so I would, out of everything that I've tried for, uh, activated charcoal, this one right now, this very second is my number one choice for a teeth whitener. Um, so thank you, um, for Fiber Organic for sending me this. Um, I hope all of you that have watched this um, have enjoyed it. I hope you go check it out and pick up uh, a container of it and uh, give it a try. Um, I, 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 you'll, you'll, you'll see results and it might take a little longer than uh, the, uh, the bleach, um, but I'm not real keen on putting bleach on my teeth either. Um, it's not natural, and again, if you have any cavities or any type of decay, when you put that bleach in there, you feel it. And uh, basically, it's, it's really hard to whiten your teeth when you're in pain. This doesn't do that. So um, again, be careful while using this. Brush it over, have your head over the sink while, while brushing. Do not have anything um, around you that you don't want stained. And definitely do not be dressed and ready to go um, while using this because you will get black on there. Um, you just, I, it will happen. It might not happen the first couple times, but at some given, at some point, it will definitely happen. Um, and, uh, you definitely don't want to have a whoopsie with this entire container. So that's Kathleen's take on this. I really love this company and I really love this particular product. And I would recommend this, um, not so much adults if you want. It, it, yeah, absolutely. Teens can use this. Um, but in my opinion, that is up to the parents if they're on, if the, the children are not adults, um, or not 18, have you, um, um, but definitely for adults, um, I'm sure there's not a problem with teens. I, I don't think I would give this to a, a child. Um, it would probably freak the kid out. <laughs> Um, seeing their mouth all black, but then again, uh, it probably might, may, might make them think they look like the walking dead. Who knows? Um, but for me, this is an adult product. Um, and, uh, if you are going to use it with your children, smaller children, be present and make sure, um, you prepare the toothbrush for them. Um, 
uh, just save your save yourself um, the pain that you'll endure after of the charcoal mess if you let your child have this on on their own um, because uh, yeah you'll you'll have charcoal everywhere so be careful with the kids um, definitely for adults and again I'm very glad that this is a teeth whitening product and not um, advertised as a toothpaste because you definitely have to use regular toothpaste and as much as I hate some of the products some of the ingredients in regular toothpaste I do look for the most natural toothpaste I can and but I do need to have fluoride in there and we all need to have fluoride if we want to keep our enamel um, so thank you Fiber Organic um, for sending me a, 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 an unbelievable product it's much superior to anything that I've ever used I've not used it long enough to have a comparison of my teeth um, I do have some issues with my teeth due to chemotherapy um, so I have to have that taken care of first um, but I am using it um, and I'm only a couple weeks into it I have seen some um, difference I do have composite in the front um, because I snap my teeth my front teeth I, I clench my teeth so I had to have my front teeth um, fixed with composite um, they just snapped right off anyway um, so it's not going to whiten that part but um, I, I'm really really pleased I do see a difference in uh, my back teeth um, but right now I'm just too sick to be on, on camera so I hope you enjoyed this um, I hope you check them out please do they're a very very good company I was uh, treated very kindly um, and, and I was very embarrassed having to ask for the extension um, and but they were very understanding um, very nice people and I'm looking forward to working with them um, with future products so definitely look them up and it, it, in my opinion this is the one you want it's a teeth whitener get use the toothpaste that you normally use um, I, I have to go organic as much as I can but you do need fluoride so use your toothpaste and then use the brush your teeth lightly use this and you're gonna have to brush your teeth again it's just the way it is um, if you can switch the blackout power all the power to you I've not been able to do that but um, it's just the nature of the beast this is my favorite and this is the one that I would recommend um, to anyone who's looking for activated charcoal um, and because it's just activated charcoal um, you can actually use it for other things too um, but for now this is a teeth whitening powder and I'm I will, I'm not going to get into uh, the benefits of activated charcoal because it has many benefits um, but uh, look at the links check them out and definitely um, this is a good company check out everything they have uh, it's a clean company and I'm very happy to do business with them um, so I hope I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video I hope it's been informative again I apologize for having to do this from my bed and not um, in the bathroom uh, uh, taking really cool pictures of my toothbrush and all of that um, I it was easier for me to talk about it than then type about it and so hopefully um, you guys um, will buy this um, definitely you just check them out it, it, at least go to their web page and check them out um, and if you're a little on the fence I uh, just buy a smaller a smaller uh, container of it to give it a try and uh, go from there but I honestly this is my favorite one um, they they thought of, they thought about us they, they put flavor in there so and that's not it's peppermint it doesn't take taste nasty like like the bleaches do and again the bleaches will if you have any cavities it'll kill you'll feel the pain 
with this you won't so thank you fiber organic for sending this out to me um i really enjoy it again it is my favorite so thank you for that thank you for introducing me to my new favorite teeth whitening powder um and i hope you all give it a try um again they're a great company and uh it, they're definitely wonderful to work with so i'll get take a look at everything they've got and uh give this a shot if you use tr activated charcoal to whiten your teeth okay uh kathleen out enjoy <laughs>